What's up everyone, Corey here with the Xbox Tavern for another review. This week I'm taking a look at Enclave HD, and if you're like me, that name rings a bell. Enclave was a game that came in the Xbox, the original Xbox generation, and if you are like me, this was like a hidden gem. I did not know a lot of people that knew about this game. Uh, I have these hidden memories of this game being super awesome and loving it. And so I was really excited to check out this HD remake. Unfortunately, the HD part is probably a little misleading. This game feels like a port of the original game, just playable on current gen hardware. However, that's not such a bad thing. If you are nostalgic like I am, this will definitely gather your interest if you are looking to check out the game from your past. So the gameplay loop of Enclave is that, first of all, it's a third person action RPG, which I found out, at least in this iteration, I can't recall the original, that you can play in first person. And in this RPG, you are going to pick the level that you are on. It is a level based RPG. And once you're done with that level, you will gain gold and then you advance the campaign. Now, there are hidden bags of gold that if you collect, you'll get extra gold. And every so often in a level, you'll rescue or meet another hero to add to your roster. So as you play through the campaign, your selections of who you can play the level with will increase. You can go back and play previous levels with different heroes. Uh, you can go back and collect gold that you may have missed because that is tracked and things like that. Now, the game does get pretty difficult, uh, and that is where the uh, selections come into play as you pick your weapons and your armor. You have to be pretty smart with the gold that you have with the options that you are given uh, for that level. And characters matter as well, they play differently. So it's really an interesting gameplay loop to play the campaign of a game, and as you play it, you have more and more options however some of those options make earlier levels easier so you there is a lot of replayability with this game that said there are i don't know a little over a dozen levels or so if i recall in the campaign however that's the first campaign the light campaign where you're playing as the good guys as you beat the game you unlock a completely second campaign as the bad guy so you can kind of play in this aspect of both sides of the story it's kind of cool in that regard the characters that you unlock are varied so the play styles will differ uh, pretty dramatically uh, as well as the weapon choices because you have swords you have magical staffs you have bows and arrows so there is a you know a good range for a game that came out in the early 2000s for sure now being from the early 2000s and this being more of a port of a game now a lot of that gameplay mechanics and looks and feels transfer over to this HD version of the game. Uh, this is not a remake. This is a pretty much an HD port. Uh, so it's going to look a little dated. It's going to sound a little dated and the controls are going to feel a little dated. I unfortunately even experienced some little bugs here and there, uh, a crash or two, but that's just what it is. Now, who is this for? Enclave HD is for the RPG enthusiast, and it's for the nostalgic gamer like myself. This is a budget-friendly title. I believe it's only $20, so they're not asking for an arm and a leg. And for me and my dollar, this is a, a good buy because I'm getting the game that I loved. I don't know if... If you've never played the series before, if you would enjoy it in 2023, the year that it has come out. But if you played this on the original Xbox back in the day, I think that you would have probably some rose tinted glasses fun with Enclave HD today. With that said, my review score will be posted on xboxtavern.com. So if you are not already there, be sure to go there and check that out, and I will catch you in the next one.